Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Stay tuned for our travel favorites of Singapore. All right, so this video part two of our Singapore trip, this focuses on my favorite things about Singapore, some things that I think Singapore does right. And first one is food, plain and simple. Doesn't matter what breakfast, lunch, or dinner, uh, all sorts of different ethnicities, cultures blend together. Here we're having some laksa and kopi along with chicken and braised pork with a curry puff on the side. Good stuff. The laksa was sweet and a little bit spicy with seafood. And the chicken and braised pork was pretty tasty for breakfast. We continue the walk after breakfast past the Esplanade or the Big Durian through Marina Bay and into the Boat Key area. And I reflect on the other thing that I really like about Singapore, one of my favorite things is just the touch of culture that everything has, so many green spaces, uh, art installations, what have you, make for a really enjoyable walk. Here I'm very fond of this stretch of road through uh, Jubilee walkway uh, with Boat Key in the background, the various shop houses and Marina Bay Sands as a backdrop. Again, makes for a really enjoyable walk. With the touch of history, you can see some of the old colonial houses and buildings in the background. And here we are, it's time for another bite to eat. So we stopped at our favorite Baku Tep place, Song Fa. Some pork rib with my favorite chili sauce. Some sweet chili sauce. It's like I remember. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One of the amazing things about Singapore is the seamless blend of cultures. So here we ran across a Hindu temple as we were walking through to Chinatown on our way to the Buddha Tooth Relic Buddhist Temple. So we spent some time walking through the temple and then on the way back to the hotel we came up across a cathedral catholic church where there were some preparations for a wedding so we sat down took a rest and just kind of took everything in then we kept walking to chimes which is an old historical building built in the 1800s that was converted later into a set of uh, commercial buildings used for restaurants and shops and then later made our way to Raffles Hotel the old historical building which contains the long bar which is the home of the Singapore Sling While we were in Chinatown, we stopped off at Maxwell Food Center, pretty famous hawker center, and had some of our favorite chicken rice. So we happened onto the Tian Tian Hainanese chicken rice stand. The line wasn't that long. The line was only about 15 minutes. A little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of chili sauce. Let's try it. Mm 
good. Spicy. Yeah, blueberry crunchy. Good though. Sweet. Chicken rice. The next day we made our way <clears throat> from the hotel to an area called the Albert Center. So this is another hawker center, quite not quite as busy as Maxwell. So this was nice to walk around. Found a congee stand, which is kind of like rice porridge. And then on the way back, we stopped off at Fort Canyon Park, which is a nice little respite. This is right in the middle of the city, but it's so large and so quiet and so much green space that it's really a nice place to take a walk, relax, and take in nature. And take in nature we did. We ran across a chicken as we were in the park, so that was a little bit unexpected. So we finished up at Fort Canyon and then made our way back towards the hotel. We stopped off at Suntec City where we walked around. It's a large shopping area with the Fountain of Wealth at the center of Suntec. So it's a pretty neat water fountain, one of the largest. Then we found the food center inside Suntec and I found one of my favorite places, Jalan Kayu, a street food vendor which is known for their rati and their curry. So I definitely indulged in some of that. Now to touch on nature again, I'll mention that when we were at Santosa, one of my observations was just the amount of development, but there is still nature if you look for it. So we did find Soloso Beach on the northwest end of Santosa. So this was a neat area to walk around. And we also made it to the Fort Soloso Skywalk, which is again really neat. We're doing the treetop walk, walking in the treetops. Yeah. Well, in Santosa, we went to the Malaysian Street Food Center and picked up a couple dishes. So one was the Hokkien Mi with seafood. And then we also tried the Penang Charkwa Diao with seafood. Checking out was pretty interesting. It was all automated, which is like a lot of things in Singapore to drive maximum efficiency and you can see here the Chakwa Tiao and the Hokkien Mi with seafood this one is my favorite Chakwa Tiao mm. play this one uh -huh. A little bit of chili sauce. Wow. 
And if you're in Singapore, you can't forget about Orchard Road, the uh, mecca of shopping and restaurants. So we did make our way down here the last day and went to a restaurant called Marche. This is one of our favorite restaurants in Singapore, Marche, which is kind of like an open war market walking around. They give you a little card and then you walk from station to station and if you like it they swipe your card and then they charge you later and you can get a rusty this is a swiss swiss rusty because I think Marche is a Swiss restaurant. And then other assorted seafood. This looks pretty good. Get a seafood platter. So we got some nice healthy looking steaks. Get something off the grill. Ribeye sounds pretty good right now. Towards the end of our trip, we met up with some old friends, friends that I had known from 20 years ago from my first trip to Singapore. So we were treated to all of the best, the, everything from the black pepper to the chili crab. What made it really special though was just the time that we had to, to spend, to catch up, because what is life if you can't develop those relationships and those connections? And so this really made the trip all worth it. All right, so that's a summary of our visit to Singapore and what some of our favorites are about the country. Please share what your thoughts and comments are when you visit or things that you look forward to. Until then, we will see you back in Laos and thank you for watching.